get your thoughts on Gates and his withdrawing from contention. Are you surprised that Trump didn't end up going to the mat politically for him? I, I am relieved, tremendously relieved. I don't know if I am particularly surprised. Uh, Matt Gates is a toxic uh, stinker of a, of a legislator. I think that he would have been a horrible choice at the Department of Justice. He's barely a lawyer. He's never prosecuted anything. Uh, you know, he has a couple of hours in his uh, in a family firm down in Florida. Uh, his uh, you know his sex with uh, the underage alleged uh, uh, sexual encounters with the underage uh, young lady, the 17-year-old in Florida, and the threesomes, and then the New York Times releasing you know the diagrams of how he paid off uh, scores of these uh, ladies allegedly with uh, P PayPal and Venmo. Uh, it's, it's just a, a low life. I don't know. You know, uh, how the president picked him, I will never know. Seems that it was an impetuous choice. Uh, you know, there are a lot in that uh, potential cabinet, Brianna, that are very controversial, but at least they are arguably competent. Not like this guy, this guy uh, who tried uh, single handedly to destroy the House of Representatives, uh, you know, going off there, uh, uh, you know, the, the speaker, Kevin McCarthy. It's just, uh, you know, uh, it, is, it is a relief. And Pan Bondi, in compared to Matt Gates, is the, the best choice you could possibly make. I mean, whatever the relative quality of these two people is, is profound. And I wish her the best. I've known her for years, interviewed her many times. She was a regular on my at large show on the weekends and uh, often run into her in the green room at Hannity. Uh, she's a real prosecutor, a county prosecutor. Uh, you know, with vast experience. Uh, yes, she's controversial with Trump University and a bunch of other things that I've heard you mention. Uh, you, but uh, she's the real deal. Uh, you may not like her politics, but well, that's and to that point. Her